And a pleasant good afternoon to you. Welcome to a historic Chuck Barnes Field here in Webb City, Missouri, as we get set for Webb City Cardinal Baseball here this afternoon on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. As your 1-0 Webb City Cardinals take on the 1-1 Branson Pirates in a non-conference game, along with studio producer Roberta Foster back at our KNEO studios. Adam Winkler here with you in Webb City. Cardinals a thrilling 11-5 victory last night on the road at Bentonville West in nine innings yesterday afternoon or last night in Bentonville. Cardinals come home today. Weather is 30 degrees warmer and looking forward to taking on the Branson Pirates who are 1-1 one one on the season. Branson lost a heartbreaker last night at Logan Rogersville by the final score of 5-4. They defeated Parkview back on March 15th, 15 to nothing. So they are 1-1 one one on the season. Left-hander Luke Beverlin gets the start today for the Webb City Cardinals. Our countdown to first pitch is sponsored by Burpo Family Chiropractic, Express RX in Webb City, and Who Hot Mongolian Grill. It's the Webb City Cardinals and the Branson Pirates. A three-minute break. Back with more after this on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. Reeves Tire and Automotive knows cars are how you navigate through your busy lives. Professionals will ensure your car is reliable to get you and your family to your destination. We provide competitive pricing and quality work on tires, wheels, oil changes, brakes, suspensions, alignments, and vehicle maintenance. All necessary to ensure your vehicle is ready to go. Family owned and operated for over 39 years, you will receive friendly, honest service. So get rolling with Reeves Tire in Joplin, Web City, and Carthage. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named CareCheck's number one hospital in the market and top 10% hospital in the state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Being a lion comes with a reputation for excellence. Whether it's in the classroom, on the court, or in the community, lions are leading the way. With innovative and immersive academic programs, new scholarship opportunities, and a campus committed to the future, now is the perfect time to find your purpose. Find your pride at Missouri Southern State University. Papa John's Pizza in Webb City can satisfy your hunger cravings before or after the game. Stop by and pick up one of their specialty pizzas, like the Works, the Meats, or the Barbecue Chicken Bacon. Don't forget to grab a side order of breadsticks or Papa's Wings to top off your order. Papa John's Pizza in Webb City, 417-673-7272, or order online at papajohns.com or through the Papa John's app. Go Cardinals! A new era in local sports begins. The Roper Kia Four State Sports Report is where you'll find all of your local sports information. Join sports director Michael Imami and reporters Chaz Wright and Tashina Coleman every night. We cover Little League, high school athletics, Missouri Southern, and Pittsburgh State, along with countless community colleges in the four states. We cover it all. So whether you're a Chiefs, Cardinals, Eagles, or Wildcats fan, you won't want to miss the Roper Kia Four State Sports Report. And back here at Barnes Field in Webb City getting set for Cardinal Baseball today. Webb City and Branson, the home opener for the Webb City Cardinals. Cardinals were on the road last night at Bentonville West and got a victory 11-5 in nine in innings. The Cardinals, 12 hits in the ball game last night. Webb City was down 2 to nothing after the bottom of the first inning of play but came all the way back as they scored one in the fourth, three in the fifth, one in the sixth, and that big six run top of the ninth inning for the Cardinals last night as they blew the ball game open. 11 runs, 12 hits last night for the Webb City Cardinals. And contributions up and down the lineup for Webb City. 
Andrew Young was two for five in the ball game. Sam Weller had a big three-run home run in the fifth inning last night over the right field fence. Sean Hunt, two hits in the ball game. Drew Vondahar, two hits. Christian Brock, maybe the best game last night, two for five in the game, but he hit the ball hard, also had an RBI in the game last night for Webb City. And then Hunter Scholl picked up a hit. Mason Williams picked up a hit. Then Cohen Epler, looking for his first hit of the game, came to the plate with the bases loaded in the top of the ninth inning and it roped a double down the left field line. It cleared the bases, took a three-run Web City lead to a six-run lead. And how about Peyton Marshall coming in, pitching the final three and two-thirds last night, gave up one hit, struck out 12, as he or struck out two as he faced 12 batters last night through 45 pitches. The Cardinals threw Landon Fletcher the first four and two-thirds, Vonderhaar pitched two-thirds of an inning, and Peyton Marshall three and two-thirds last night for the Webb City Cardinals as Webb City is 1-0 on the season, taking on the 1-1 one one Branson Pirates here this afternoon from Barnes Field in Webb City. Another three-minute break. Back with our starting lineups after this on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. Web City Cardinal fans, did you know there's a local, knowledgeable, friendly pharmacy conveniently located at 101 West Doherty in Web City? We are Express RX of Web City. And the best part is we can save you up to 90% on your prescriptions from the big box stores. We make it so easy to switch. Plus, we offer free convenient services such as free delivery, drive through and free pill packaging. So come by and make the switch today. And go Cardinals! Dairy Queen Grill and Chill in Web City is the place to go before or after the game. Check out their amazing menu of fan favorite blizzards like Oreo or Cookie Dough. Happy hour is daily from 2 to 5 p.m. That means everything you can drink from a straw is half price excluding premium shakes. Don't forget to grab one of their $7 meal deals or their signature stack burgers and top it off with a misty slush. The Dairy Queen Grill and Chill in Web City, open daily from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Proud to support the Web City Cardinals. KNEO would like to thank The Big Nickel for sponsoring this portion of broadcasting on 91.7 FM. The Big Nickel is an advertising shopper for thousands of different items, from automobiles and livestock to help wanted and real estate. It covers a 70-mile radius in the four-state area and is available in area businesses each week. Located at 1931 East 20th Street, Suite 103 in Joppa, Missouri. Their telephone number is 417-624-4100. When we're in danger, our first instinct is to flee, right? This instinct has saved many people, but the problem is we don't always recognize it. We all want that warning when we're in danger. And if you think about eternity, you start to see that God's Word, the Bible, is a warning to each of us. He tells us that every wrong thing we've ever done, no matter how big or small, puts us in eternal danger of being separated from God. But you know, there's a way of escaping that. God provided His only Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross and paid the penalty for all our disobedient acts. Then Jesus rose from the dead and lives forever in heaven and wants you to be there too. He offers forgiveness and a new life through a relationship with Him. To learn how to begin a relationship with Jesus and be saved from the danger of an eternity separated from God, call 888-NEED-HIM. That's 888-NEED-HIM. The Web City Booster Club is proud to support Web City student athletes. The Booster Club works with parents, community volunteers, and businesses to enrich the experience of Web City High School athletics. They would like to encourage anyone interested in making an impact on our student athletes to consider joining the Booster Club. If you are an individual, family, or business and would like more information on joining the Boosters, you can stop by the Booster Trailer that is at all Cardinal home games, or you can find them on Facebook at Web City Athletic Booster Club. Web City Booster Club wishes all their athletes an amazing year. Go Cards! The Cardinals and the Branson Pirates are starting lineups here today. Are sponsored by Papa John's Pizza of Web City and Reeves Tire and Automotive. For the Branson Pirates, 1-1 one one on the season, head coach Kirk Harriman. Of course, a name familiar with many folks around the area. Former head coach of the Joplin Eagles. Leading off for them and playing right field is number two, Colin Ross. Batting second and playing second base, number eight, Sam Adkisson. 
Batting third and playing first base, number 27, Andrew Bristow. Batting fourth has a DH, number 20, Will Thunderberg. Batting fifth and playing center field, number 17, Caleb Varashka. Batting sixth and playing left field, number nine, Marshall Storm. Batting seventh and doing the catching, number six, Aaron Strom. Batting eighth and playing third base, number five, Jansen Poor. And a batting ninth and playing shortstop is number three, Ryder Schroeder. Number 22, Hunter Jones will do the pitching today for the Branson Pirates. So for the Pirates, once again, it goes Ross, Atkinson, Bristow, Thunderburk, Varashka, Storm, Strom, Poor, and Schroeder. For your Web City Cardinals here this afternoon, leading off and playing center field is number six, Andrew Young. Batting second and playing second base, number eight, Sam Weller. Hitting third and playing first base, number 42, Sean Hunt. Hitting fourth and playing left field, number five, Drew Vonderhaar. Batting fifth and playing right field, number 17, Shadrick Salazar. Batting sixth as the DH, number 34, Christian Brock. Batting seventh and playing third base, number 10, Hunter Scholl. Batting eighth and doing the catching, number 13, Mason Williams. And batting ninth as the shortstop, number 12, Cohen Epler. Luke Beverlin will get the start today for the Cardinals on the mound. So for Webb City once again, Young, Weller, Hunt, Vonderhaar, Salazar, Brock, Scholl, Williams, and Epler with Beverlin on the mound. It is Webb City and Branson here this afternoon from Barnes Field in Webb City. A three-minute break on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. At Pro Lube Tire and Auto Center, we know what it means to rely on your vehicle. We race all year and know how to get that extra inch out of every part. Precision, quality, and reliability are not just words to us. It's what we do every day. We know you rely on your vehicle to perform for your family. From oil changes to full-on repairs, Pro Lube gives you the best racetrack team experience so you can be worry-free. Pro Lube Tire and Auto Center, where we get it right on the road and the track. Web City Florist and Greenhouse, 1001 South Jefferson in Web City, is a backer of Cardinal Athletics. Serving the Web City, Joplin, and surrounding areas, Web City Florist and Greenhouse offers flower bouquets for all occasions, including anniversaries, birthdays, and funerals, open Monday through Saturday. For more information, their phone number is 417-673-3780 or online at webcityflorist.com. Every Sunday from 4 p.m. to close, it's Student Night at Who Hot Mongolian Grill in Joplin. Students of any age can bring in your valid student ID and receive 25% off your grill meal. At Who Hot Mongolian Grill, you can always enjoy a vast selection of fresh vegetables, plus meats that are grilled perfectly right in front of your eyes with your choice of Who Hot's mouth-watering signature sauces. Who Hot Mongolian Grill, 1804 South Range Line Road in Joplin. More information online at whohot.com. Burpo Family Chiropractic is not just a place for adults, but for kids as well. From birth to geriatrics, Dr. Haley Burpo has the skills and knowledge to help patients of any age. Dr. Burpo is committed to taking time with her patients to go above and beyond to find the source of pain. To schedule an appointment, call 417-673-5555. Burpo Family Chiropractic, once a cardinal, now treating cardinals. More information in names and numbers. A new era in local sports begins. The Roper Kia Four State Sports Report is where you'll find all of your local sports information. Join sports director Michael Imami and reporters Chaz Wright and Tashina Coleman every night. We cover Little League, high school athletics, Missouri Southern, and Pittsburgh State, along with countless community colleges in the four states. We cover it all. So whether you're a Chiefs, Cardinals, Eagles, or Wildcats fan, you won't want to miss the Roper Kia Four State Sports Report. Singing is my career and my calling. But I'm also a mother of four. And as entrepreneurs, we weigh the cost of every decision. Medical bills are no longer a worry for our family, so I can focus on my calling. And our family. Joining Christian Healthcare Ministries was one of the best decisions we ever made. We're the Blair family, and this is our CHM story. 
Choose your doctor without network restrictions, all at an affordable price. Enroll anytime at chministries.org slash enroll. Web City, as we take a look at this matchup between these two ball clubs over the years, as since 2011, the Cardinals are 17-7 and seven against the Pirates. They are 3-4 and four here at home. They are 13-3 and three against Branson in Branson. 1-0 in neutral sites. Cardinals won last year 4-0. The Cardinals have won three in a row in the last 10 games. Webb City is 8-2 and two against the Branson Pirates. Coming up on the Cardinals schedule, Webb City will be back at home on Thursday here against Springdale, a 1 o'clock first pitch, no broadcast there. Then the Cardinals at the Willard Tournament Friday and Saturday facing Marquette at 7.30 on Friday and then Rockbridge at 2.30 on Saturday. Then the Cardinals will battle John Hershey once again from Illinois on Tuesday here at Barnes Field at 4.30. And then next Thursday, Webb City will play Lakes Community once again out of Illinois as they did last year, and that's a 4.30 first pitch, but that game's at Warren Turner Field on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. It's the Webb City Cardinals and the Branson Pirates. Let's step aside here for a two-minute break. We'll come back with our first pitch after this on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. Web City Sports is sponsored by Nick Myers, certified public accountant, located in Web City at 2nd and Main, next door to City Hall, offering tax preparation and planning for personal and business taxes. Plus, they offer bookkeeping services and QuickBooks setup and training services. Open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Nick Myers CPA at 2nd and Main in Web City, with offices also in Joplin and Anderson. More information online at nickmyerscpa.com or 417-673-4200. One of America's most famous lighthouses, Cape Hatteras Light, has been guiding ships for nearly two centuries and weathering more than a hundred hurricanes. So many lights that we depend on don't always survive the storms. The marriage we thought would last forever. The person who let us down. Our health. We need something that's unshakable to guide us through the toughest times. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness will have the light of life. He is the one certain light that your heart needs. Only He can remove the wall of sin between you and God. For all your storms, dark times, and even for your final journey, there's a light that will always be there. His name is Jesus. To learn more, call 888-NEED-HIM. That's 888-NEED-HIM. Or visit needhim.org. So Maggie, just to be clear, this personalized Arvest blueprint tells us literally when we can retire with a plan to get there? Yep. Whoa, that's helpful. Very, Very helpful. helpful. <laughs> Retirement planning made easy. Arvest Wealth Management, ready to help. Glad to have you with us here this afternoon on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network as the Web City Cardinals take on the Branson Pirates. Our countdown to first pitch has been sponsored by Burpo Family Chiropractic, Express RX in Web City, and Who Hot Mongolian Grill as the Web City Cardinals set to take on the Branson Pirates. Cardinals dressed in the home white uniforms today, white pants, white tops with the Red trim on the jersey, the red numerals. Got a little Columbia blue splashed in there as well around the numerals of the jersey with that WC on the left chest for the Web City Cardinals. The Branson Pirates 
white pants, black tops with the red stripe down the pants. The black tops have white numbers with red lettering for Branson across the front of the jersey. And also they have an American flag on the left chest side of the jersey as well. Cardinals have Luke Beverlin out there warming up. With his counterpart, Mason Williams, we're set to go. Webb City and Branson here from Barnesfield in Webb City. Now batting right fielder number two, Colin Ross. Colin Ross to lead things off. Ross will step in there on the left side. A lefty-lefty matchup between Beverlin and Ross. Pitch by Luke Beverlin is going to miss down low. Ball one. Our official game time here today is 426. Official game time temperature, 67 degrees. The 1-0 pitch. That'll catch the outside corner, says home plate umpire Troy Teal for a strike. Our wind is steady out of the southwest Blustering hard at 23 miles per hour. Gust as high as 33 miles per hour. And if you get the ball in the air to right field, it will carry out of the ballpark in a hurry. 1-2 pitch on the way. And that's fouled off third base side. The count one ball and two strikes on Colin Ross. Luke Beverlin, a left-handed pitcher for Webb City. Coaching staff really high on him. Breaking ball is going to miss outside. Two and two. Missed a lot of last year with an injury. He's going to be a part of the staff last year and had to work his way back. 2-2 two -two pitch. And strike three call. Got Ross looking on the outside corner for out number one. Second baseman number eight, Sam Atkinson. Here's Sam Atkinson, the second baseman, will step in on the right side. So Beverlin wears number 11 on the jersey, winds and deals. A check swing ground ball foul, first base side. The thing you get with Landon Fletcher last night, which you'll get with Luke Beverlin here today, both guys will pound the strike zone. Both guys like to work quickly. We see that from Beverlin here early on. Luke gets the sign from Mason Williams, the pitch. And through there for a strike. Cardinals have Hunt down there at first base. Weller's the second baseman. Scholl's the third baseman. Epler the shortstop. No balls, two strikes on Atkins in the pitch. Swing and a foul back to the screen. We'll stay at 0-2. Outfield from left to right goes Vondahar out there in left. Young in center. Salazar out in right field. 0-2 pitch once again. And fouled off first base side. A battle right here between Atkinson, the second baseman for Branson, and Luke Beverlin, the pitcher for Webb City. Luke shakes off a sign. Now says yes, brings it home. Breaking ball left upstairs, one and two. Luke has a sleeve on his left arm, but goes short sleeve on the right arm. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Atkinson. And two up and two down for Branson here in the top of the first inning. The first baseman, number 27, Andrew Bristow. A good start for Luke Beverlin. Nobody on two out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin the game. Bristow in there on the right side. The first baseman takes a fastball right down central. And the count's 0-1. 1 delivery. Going to miss down low and in. Squirts away from Mason Williams. One ball, one strike. Sunny skies and clear here at Barnes Field in Webb City. There's a high fly ball into center field. Young going to battle the wind. Camps underneath it, makes the play. It's a 1-2-3 top half of the first inning. To the bottom of the first we go. It is Branson nothing. Your Webb City Cardinals coming up on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. Burpo Family Chiropractic is not just a place for adults, but for kids as well. From birth to geriatrics, Dr. Haley Burpo has the skills and knowledge to help patients of any age. Dr. Burpo is committed to taking time with her patients to go above and beyond to find the source of pain. To schedule an appointment, call 417-673-5555. Burpo Family Chiropractic, once a cardinal, now treating cardinals. More information in names and numbers. 
Dairy Queen Grill and Chill in Web City is the place to go before or after the game. Check out their amazing menu of fan favorite blizzards like Oreo or Cookie Dough. Happy hour is daily from 2 to 5 p.m. That means everything you can drink from a straw is half price excluding premium shakes. Don't forget to grab one of their $7 meal deals or their signature stack burgers and top it off with a misty slush. The Dairy Queen Grill and Chill in Web City, open daily from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Proud to support the Web City Cardinals. The Sub Shop Deli in Webb City has been serving the Webb City area for 41 years. They're located at 328 South Hall in Webb City. The Sub Shop Deli offers menu items including a variety of subs, salads, and party trays. For call and ordering, their phone number is 673-8946. A good top of the first inning for Luke Beverlin. Three up and three down. Now the Cardinals get their chance at home plate here today against the right-hander, Hunter Jones. Jones wears number 22 on the back of the jersey. He is a senior. Jones will operate from the stretch the entire game, as see a lot of pitchers doing that nowadays. Cardinals will have Young, Weller, and Hunt up there. If anyone gets on, Drew Vondahar, the left fielder. Jones finishing his warm-up tosses here this afternoon. Mention that wind that's blowing hard out towards right field. It's going to give right fielders, second baseman, the most trouble here today trying to field a pop-up. Now batting center fielder number six, Andrew Young. Well, here is Andrew Young. Young yesterday in the game in the season opener for Webb City. Two for five. He scored two runs. Digs in there on the left side. Hits out of that open stance on the left side. As Jones stares in for the sign from his catcher, Strom, the pitch. Fastball going to miss high and away, ball one. Talked about it yesterday, Young. Missed a lot of the season last year because of an injury. Glad to have him and his speed and bat back in the lineup this year. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That's going to catch the outside corner for a strike, one and one. One ball, one strike on Andrew Young, the junior center fielder. Breaking ball on the dandy right through there, strike two. No balls, two strikes on Mr. Young, the leadoff batter for the Cardinals, bottom of the first, no score. Fastball upstairs. Count now is two and two. Two balls, two strikes, the pitch on the way. Breaking ball, going to stay high and outside. We're full at three and two. Bristow's the first baseman, Atkinson the second baseman, Poor down there at third, Schroeder's the shortstop. Storm, Varashka, and Ross in the outfield from left to right, a battery of Jones and Strom. Payoff pitch, a chopper down towards short, a big hop for Schroeder, throw to first is high and wild. And Young's going to be on there safely at first base. An air on Schroeder. It's one of those balls you probably, Schroeder, if he had it to do all over again, he would probably charge that one. He waited back on it and threw wildly up high. The second baseman, number eight, Sam Weller. Young on at first base brings up Sam Weller. Weller one for five in the game yesterday. Had that big three-run home run to right field. Young a lead at first. Bluffs a move. And Weller takes a pitch inside. Ball one. Well, if you're a left-hander, this is one of those days you dream of with the wind just howling out towards right field. You get it in the air. A good chance to get it out of the ballpark. That pitch will be away by Jones. And the count now 2-0. and oh. Andrew Young, really good speed down there at first base. Has a decent size lead, the 2-0 pitch. That'll stay outside once again. And Weller has the count in his favor, three balls, no strikes. Weller deep in the batter's box. 
Fastball will catch the inside corner in the count three and one. Young a little bit bigger lead down there at first now with a 3-1 count. Here's the pitch. Weller, a line shot back into center field for a base hit. Stopping at second base is Young. Cardinals have two on with nobody out in the bottom of the first inning against the Branson Pirates. The first baseman, number 42, Sean Hunt. Here is Sean Hunt. Hunt two for four in the game yesterday. That pitch by Jones to Weller just left it up in the zone, and Sam easily stroked it back up the middle for a single. Hunt in there on the right side, hits out of that open stance. Take a fastball, going to miss in, ball one. Hunt doubled to right field yesterday. Over the head of the right fielder, Murphy for Bentonville West. He will go the opposite way. Looks to go right center. Right field maybe in this at bat. Runners at first and second base. Nobody out. Bottom of the first, no score, but the Cardinals are threatening. Now Hunt asks for time. It's granted by home plate umpire Troy Teal. Pro Loop Tire and Auto Center is sponsor. Madison Pet Clinic, Baker Davis, Roderick, CPAs. Pitch to Sean Hunt. Breaking ball, it's going to miss away. Two balls and no strikes on the big first baseman for the Cardinals. Jones adjusts his hat. Back on the rubber. Young, a lead down there at second base. Weller, a lead at first base for the Cardinals. Coming set is Jones at the letters. Checks the runner at second. Checks him again. Now pitches. Line shot, base hit center field. Young around third base. Coach Donick's going to wave him home. Here's the throw home. It's not going to be in time. In the third base safely goes Weller. And the second base goes Hunt. And the catcher, Strom, who received that throw, was in front of home plate. Young came barreling in with a head first slide. Took Strom's legs out from underneath him. It wasn't a dirty play at all. Looks like Strom's going to be okay, but he hit the ground hard. It's an RBI single off the bat of Sean Hunt. Now the concern right now is Strom to make sure he's all right. Runners at second and third for Webb City. Craig Jennings, trainer for the Cardinals, gets almost out to home plate, and Strom shakes him off, says, I'm good. And TCU turns around and walks back to the dugout. Left fielder, number five. Drew Underhar. RBI single for Sean Hunt. Cardinals lead 1-0 here in the first inning. The runners advanced one more base on the throw on through to home plate. Vonderhaar had two hits in the ball game yesterday. Takes a breaking ball outside, ball one. Drew also had an RBI. And walked. Slightly open stance on the right side for Vondahar. 1-0 pitch. Breaking ball, going to catch the outside corner for a strike. And we're even at one ball, one strike. Jones staring in for the sign from Strom. And the pitch. Fastball going to miss in. The count goes to two and one. Two balls, one strike, two on, nobody out. Now Strom asking the dugout to roll through the signs once again. And now Vondahar asks for time. Drew back in the batter's box, the pitch. Breaking ball, going to catch the outside corner, and we're even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes on Vondahar. Weller a lead down there at third base. Hunt a lead at second. One-nothing Cardinals, bottom of the first. 2-2 pitch. 
And it's going to hit Drew in the left shoulder. He'll trot down to first. They're loaded now for the Cardinals. The right fielder, number 17, Shadrach Salazar. So they're loaded for the Cardinals. Shadrick Salazar looking for his first hit of the season. will step in on the right side. Weller at third base, Hunt at second, Vondahar on at first. Jones set the pitch. Fastball through there for a strike, 0-1. Salazar could really blow this ball game open early with a shot to the gap. Like to at least get a ball in the air and get a run home. Breaking ball, going to miss away. And we're even at one ball, one strike. Jones staring in for the sign. Has it now come set. 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball, a swing and a miss by Salazar, strike two. One ball, two strikes on Salazar. Base is loaded, nobody out for the Cardinals, top of the first. One nothing, Webb City on top. One two pitch, here it is. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, strike three. Salazar down on strikes, one down. For the Cardinals, the bases are still loaded. Designated hitter, number 34, Christian Brock. Here's Christian Brock. Brock, two for five in the game last night with a RBI, had a double and a triple. Bases loaded, one down. Breaking ball outside corner, strike one. Cardinals, you have to capitalize on this opportunity for the that you have with the bases loaded, one down, one run is in. Senior Christian Brock in there on the right side. Jones brings in the 0-1. Breaking ball, Brock checked his swing, takes a strike, 0-2. Oh so an error, a single, a single, and a hit batter, then a strikeout, now 0-2 oh on Brock. For Branson, they would call it a win if they get out of this inning with only one run being scored. 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball, chopper, first base. He'll step on the bag and no other play besides that. So a run comes home to score. Bristow gets the out at first. He was thinking about coming home for the tag play, but realized he couldn't get Weller at home plate, so he just ate the baseball. Third baseman, number 10, Hunter Scholl. Here's Hunter Scholl on the play. Hunt goes to third. Vondahar down to second. Scholl last night, one for four with two RBIs. Fastball going to miss away. Ball one. Two nothing. Webb City on top. We are in the bottom of the first inning. See if Hunter Scholl can come up with a two-out base hit for Webb City. 1-0 pitch. Going to hit him. Second hit batter of the inning. They're loaded once again for the Cardinals. The catcher, number 13, Mason Williams. Here is Mason Williams. Williams one for three in the game last night. Also walked twice. Single to left field. For his first varsity hit. They're loaded with two down. Williams the eighth man to come to the plate in the inning. The ball gets away from the catcher. Strong but not far enough for Sean Hunt down there at third base to come home. It's one ball, no strikes on Williams. Can the Cardinals break through for a big inning here in the bottom of the first inning? Bases loaded, two down, two runs are in. 1-0 pitch. 
And that's cued off the bat foul, first base side, and well out of play. One ball, one strike on Mason Williams. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Going to get away now from Schroeder or Strom, the catcher. Here comes Hunt. He's going to score the third run of the inning. Everyone else is going to move up. 3-0 Cardinals on top. Von Dehar down there at third base now. Scholl on at second. Williams ahead in the count. Two balls, one strike. 3 nothing. Webb City on top. Looking for more in the bottom of the first. Fastball up high to Mason Williams, and it's 3-1. That was pitch number 32 here in the first inning. For right-hander Hunter Jones for the Branson Pirates. Cardinals making him work. He has fought his command. Williams, the eighth batter here to the plate in the inning. 3-1 pitch. And going to catch the top portion of the strike zone. And we're full at three and two. Three balls, two strikes, two on, two out, three runs are in. Cardinals on top, three nothing. Strom looking to the dugout for the sign. Now lays it down. Jones says no, and now Williams... As for time, it's granted. Three balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. And Williams checked his swing, and they are loaded. Good job by Mason holding back on that sweeping breaking ball outside. Now Andrew Elwell to come on and run for Williams down there at first base as the courtesy runner. The shortstop, number 12, Cohen Epler. Here is Cohen Epler. Had a bases clearing double in the top of the ninth inning last night. He was one for four in the game with three RBIs. Epler takes a fastball inside, ball one. Now the third baseman, Poor, going to come in and have a quick chat with his pitcher. Other sponsors today, Express RX and Web City, Body and Soul Transformation, Nick Meyer, CPA, and Crowder College. One ball, no strikes. The pitch on the way. Epler, they say he went around. And we're even at one ball, one strike. Epler digs back in on the right side. Bases loaded for the Cardinals. Two out here in the bottom of the first inning. Three nothing, Webb City. There's a pitch that will catch the outside corner. Strike two, one and two. One ball, two strikes. This will be pitch number 38 in the inning. For Hunter Jones, the pitcher for the Branson Pirates. Bases loaded for the Cardinals. One ball, two strikes on Epler. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, strike three call. Got him looking on the outside corner to end the inning, but the Cardinals score three. We head to inning number two, Webb City three, and Branson nothing on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. Being a lion comes with a reputation for excellence. Whether it's in the classroom, on the court, or in the community, lions are leading the way. With innovative and immersive academic programs, new scholarship opportunities, and a campus committed to the future, now is the perfect time to find your purpose. Find your pride at Missouri Southern State University. 
in a sense, we all live in earthquake zones. Sometimes things in our world are shaken by forces we can't control. It might be one of those times in your life right now. Life's quakes remind us how breakable and vulnerable we are. You were made for a relationship with Jesus Christ. Only through Him can you be safe for all eternity. He proved it by His blood when He died on the cross to pay for every sin you've ever committed. To learn more, call 888-NEED-HIM. Snodgrass Collision Center is honored to serve the area and support our local schools. They're located at 1604 East 4th Street in Joplin, specializing in complete body and frame repair, four-wheel alignment, and paintless tent repair, 781-7774. Now batting for the Pirates, a designated hitter, number 20, Will Thunderberg. Top of the second, 3-0 Cardinals on top of the Branson Pirates. Will Thunderberg, the DH in there on the right side, facing Luke Beverlin, and he'll pepper the inside corner with a strike, 0-1. Oh strike two right through there. Quickly 0-2 oh on Will Thunderberg. Beverlyn says yes. Breaking ball. Did he go? They said no, he did not. One ball, two strikes on Thunderberg. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. Strike three call. Got him looking right down central with the heater. Three strikeouts in the game for Beverlyn. One down, top of the second inning. Center fielder, number 17, Caleb Varashka. Here's Caleb Varashka, the center fielder, in there on the right side. There's a line shot in the left field. Von Dehar is going to play it on a hop. It's a single for Varashka as he jumped on a first pitch on the inner half of the plate. Now batting left fielder number nine, Marshall Storm. Brings up the right fielder, Marshall Storm. A bigger part in the left fielder, Marshall Storm. Runner on at first base, one down. Beverlin from the stretch, the pitch. That'll catch the inside corner, strike one. Cardinals middle infield looking for a double play ball right here. Storm in there on the right side. Now Beverlin steps off, now back on the rubber. Comes set at the belt. The pitch. Bunt is shown. It's bunted foul, first base side. The count's 0-2. A little fans have replaced the winter parkas from last night with the light hoodies and jackets. The wind still makes it a bit chilly out there, but much more bearable than it was at Bentonville West last night or Logan Rogersville when temperatures were in the upper 30s. Swing and a foul back to the screen. We'll do the 0-2 once again. Andrew Young out there in center field for Webb City is shaded around towards right center. Beverlyn set. The 0-2 pitch. Left upstairs, counts one and two. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, a sponsor, Burpo Family Chiropractic, Arvis Wealth Management, and Snodgrass Collision Center. Here's the one-two pitch by Beverlin. Swing and a foul tip caught by Williams for a strikeout. Four strikeouts in the game for Beverlin, two down. The catcher, number six, Aaron Strong. Here's Aaron Strom, the catcher. Strom in there on the right side. Had that wicked collision at home plate with Andrew Young in the bottom of the first inning on the play at the plate. Thankfully, Strom was okay. Go to first base. Runner back in there safely. Roshka slides back in head first. Check of the runner, the pitch. Hot smash, sends everyone scattering down there in the pirate dugout. Everyone is all right. They're all smiling about it. 
I'm sure the story will grow as the game goes along about how quick they had to be for that one. Pitch going to miss upstairs. One ball, one strike. Always a good rule of thumb for the youngsters at the ballpark. You always have to pay attention in the dugout. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Runner off and going. Line shot in the vacated spot where the second baseman Weller was into right field. Young up with the ball. Varashka goes first to third. It's a single by Straub. Runners at the corners with two down. Third baseman number five, Jansen Poor. Here's Jansen Poor, the third baseman. Well, that's the difference between the Cardinals being in the dugout right now and the Pirates with runners on at the corners. Now a courtesy runner, Tegan Asbury, comes in to run down there at first base for the catcher, Strom. With the runner in motion, it pulled Weller towards the second base bag and vacated that second base position. The ball was shot right where Weller was. Popped up foul. Backing out of play by Poor, strike one. The field here in Webb City, of course, infield is turf, the outfield, natural grass. And the grass looks great here this afternoon for the middle of March. Nice and green. There's a high fly ball center field. Young going back, has it measured, and makes the play. And the Pirates are set aside here in the second. No runs, two hits, two left. We head to the bottom of the second. It's Webb City 3, Branson nothing on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named CareCheck's number one hospital in the market and top 10% hospital in the state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Body and Soul Transformation, located at 1703 Falcon Suite C in Webb City, is a 10,000 square foot, 24 hour fitness center and specialized personal training facility. They offer a variety of group fitness classes. They now accept silver sneakers and have classes for seniors. They also hold kids and youth events. They have something to offer everyone in the family and even have a kid zone for busy parents. Body and Soul Transformation in Webb City, 417-553-0757 or online at bodysoultransformation.com. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals begin their 2024 season at Arvest Ballpark on Friday, April 5th versus the Tulsa Drillers at 7.05 p.m. For ticket information, nwanaturals.com, a proud supporter of high school baseball on KNEO. Make sure you download the KNEO iPhone and Android phone apps. Those are sponsored by the Webb City Booster Club as we head to the bottom of the second inning. Cardinals on top of the Pirates by the score of 3 to nothing. 1-2-3 in the order once again for the Webb City Cardinals. Young, Weller, and Hunt. If anyone gets on, Drew Vonderhaar. The center fielder, number six, Andrew Young. Young reached on an error in the first, came around to score. Jones back out there for a second inning of work. 38 pitches in the first inning for Mr. Jones. Cardinals would like to get another 20 or 30 here in this inning and they get inside that Branson bullpen. Pitch to Young, breaking ball, going to miss inside, ball one. Poor the third baseman at the edge of the grass down there at third. Young checks his swing, takes a strike on the outside corner, and we're even at one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Breaking ball, a high fly ball, right field. Ross will make the play for out number one. Second baseman number eight, Sam Weller. Right, here is Sam Weller. 
Sam in there on the left side. Weller singled his first time up to right center, came around to score. Weller takes a fastball outside, ball one. Center fielder Varashka. About 10 steps shaded towards right center. Weller, a line shot and a diving catch by Bristow. The first baseman to rob extra bases away from Sam Weller. That was going to be a triple if it gets Pi Bristow down there in the right field corner. First baseman, number 42, Sean Hunt. Here's Sean Hunt, an RBI single in the first. Also came around to score. Nobody on two outs, and Sean will foul this one off. Strike one. You know, if you can pepper one down in the right field corner here at Barnes Field, there's lots of room in foul territory as that ball rolls into the corner and notorious for lefties able to get triples. They can shoot it down that right field line. One ball, one strike on Sean Hunt. Nobody on, two out. Bottom of the second, 3-0. Cardinals on top of Branson. Hunt hits a hanging breaky ball in the left field for a single. He'll round first base, and Sean is two for two in the ball game this afternoon. Left fielder, Drew Vonderhaar. Well, here's Drew Vonderhaar. Drew hit by a pitch his first time up, was stranded at third base to end the inning. Runner on at first base. Two outs for the Cardinals. They lead 3-0. Drew will fly this one into right field. That ball's going to carry. Ross going back, still going back. It's off the wall. Hunt around second base on his way to third. Coach Donig going to wave him home. No relay throw. And Vondahar in at second base with an RBI double for the Web City Cardinals. Drew hit that one off the base of the wall out in right field. Four nothing Cardinals with the lead. Right fielder Shadrach Salazar. Vondahar now has two RBIs on the season. He's down there at second base for Shadrach Salazar. Struck out his first time up. Breaking ball and right through there for strike one. Cardinals lead 4-0, bottom of the second. 0-1 pitch. Fastball going to miss down low and away. One ball, one strike. Jones taking his time on the mound. Gets the sign from Strom. And the 1-1, here it is. Runner off and going, throw down to third base. Vondahar in there safely as a swing and a miss by Salazar. A stolen base for Drew Vondahar. That is his first stolen base of the season. Runner at third. One ball, two strikes on Salazar. Jones pitches. Breaking ball, going to hit him in the left arm, and Salazar will head down to first base. Designated hitter, Christian Brock. Now here is Christian Brock. Grounded out to the first baseman his first time up. Was able to get a run home from third, though. Salazar on at first base, Vonderhaar on down there at third. See if Coach Donig might have Salazar in motion right here. Strom, the catcher, is going to set the first and third defense as he steps in front of home plate. They're going to hold Salazar on over there at first base, has a big lead and draws a throw. He's back in there safely. Cards have struck early here in this game. Three in the first, one here in the second. They're on top, 4 nothing. 
Salazar bluffs a move, and it's a strike on the outside corner. 0-1 here on Christian Brock. We're past the top of the hour. You're listening to KNEO 91.7 FM, Neosho Joplin, live online, KNEO.org, along with studio producer Roberta Foster back at our KNEO studios. Adam Winkler here with you. Pitch on the way to Brock. A cue shot down towards second, picked up by Atkinson, the second baseman, Throws to first in time. Down go the Cardinals in the second, but they score a run. After two complete here from Barnes Field and Webb City, Webb City 4, Branson nothing on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. Crowder College, your future, our focus. At Crowder College, we have six convenient locations in southwest Missouri and online programs to fit your needs. Flexible scheduling provides a pathway to a career or the opportunity to transfer to a four-year university in a variety of programs. Cheer for the Rough Riders at athletic events. Use the Missouri A-plus scholarship program for free tuition and common fees. At Crowder College, your future is our focus. Apply today at crowder.edu. Most of us have certain bills that require us to pay them off in order to keep using the service. There's another debt you owe, but this one you cannot pay yourself. It's called sin, and the Bible teaches it separates us from God. Fortunately, the gospel says Jesus loves you and paid that debt for you. It doesn't matter what you've done. You're offered this gift and can receive forgiveness. If you'd like to talk with someone to find out how Jesus can pay the debt of sin in your life, call us at 888-NEED-HIM or go to chataboutjesus.com. Since 1985, Brock Sheet Metal has been serving Webb City and the surrounding area, offering repair and replacement on all types of heat and air systems. Owned by Daryl and Karen Brock, Brock Sheet Metal 673-2611. Leading off the top of the third, the shortstop, number three, Ryder Schroeder. It's going to be the 9-1-2 and two hitters up for Branson, top of the third. Cardinals on top, 4-0. Schroeder lead things off, then Ross and Atkinson. Pitch by Beverly, going to miss high and tight, ball one. Luke will paint the outside corner for a strike. Man, we're even at one ball and one strike on Schroeder. 1-1 one, one pitch, same spot, same result, strike two. Schroeder down here on the count, one ball, two strikes. Beverly working quickly. Breaking ball, and it's lofted into right field. That ball's going to carry way back and gone. A home run by Ryder Schroeder. Over the right field fence on a 1-2 pitch from Beverly, and Branson is on the scoreboard. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Beverly went with an off-speed pitch right there, and Schroeder didn't miss it. Now batting right fielder, Colin Ross. Here's Colin Ross. Ross, the strikeout victim, his first time up. Takes a pitch for a ball. 1-0 pitch. Ross will fly this one into left field. Vondahar circling underneath it and makes the play for out number one. The second baseman, Sam Atkinson. Here's Sam Atkinson, the second baseman. Struck out his first time up. Fastball inside, barely missing, ball one. Reeves Tire and Automotive, a sponsor, Papa John's Pizza of Webb City, Who Hot Mongolian Grill, Price Family Insurance and Financial Services. Fly ball down the right field line. Salazar giving chase into the corner and... Can't make the play on it. It's a foul ball. It'll bounce out of play. He overran it and tried to circle back underneath it. The count's now one and one. One ball, one strike on Atkinson. 1-1 one, one pitch. Strike on the outside corner, one and two. The 
Here's the one-two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Another strikeout by Luke Beverlin. That is his fifth in the game. Two down here in the third. First baseman, Andrew Bristow. Here is Andrew Bristow, the first baseman. 0 for 1. Light out to the center fielder, Andrew Young. Back in the first inning. 4-1, Cardinals on top, top of the third. Pitch well outside, ball one. Here to Bristow. Cardinals three in the first, one in the second. Branson has countered with a run here in the third. Lead off home run by Schroeder. There's a line shot in the left field. Vondahar on the backhand is going to pick it up. Bristow wide turn at first. He will stop right there with a two-out single to left field. Designated hitter, Will Funderburk. Here's Will Funderburk. This will be pitch number 43 in the ball game for Beverlin. 31 strikes, 11 balls so far. Check of the runner at first base. And a fly ball right center field. That's going to plug the gap and be up against the fence. Salazar, the right fielder, throws it in. Around third base, coming home to score is Bristow. It's an RBI double off the bat of Thunderburg, and it's a 4-2 game. Thunderburg with an RBI double. The center fielder, Caleb Varashka. It's one of those balls when it was hit off the bat. Young, the center fielder, thought he was going to make the play on it, but it ended up being Salazar because the wind blew it so far over into right center. Runner at second, two down. Pitch going to miss inside, ball one. 4-2, Webb City on top of Branson. Branson has struck for two runs on three hits here in the third. 1-0 pitch on the way by Beverlin as he checks the runner at second. And fouled back. One ball, one strike. On deck hitter Storm went to retrieve that foul ball. Now Williams wants to chat with his pitcher real quick in front of the mound. Sponsor is here today, the Big Nickel, Sub Shop Deli in Webb City, and Roderick Insurance Agency. Beverlin operating from the stretch with the runner Thunderbird down there at second base. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. A one and two on a Caleb Varashka, the center fielder for Branson. Thunderbird a lead at second. Beverlin trying to strand him right there. The one-two pitch, here it is. And Varashka did not bite this time on the pitch up in the zone. And we're even at two and two. Varashka, a single back in the second inning. 2-2 pitch on the way. And fouled back by Varashka will do it once again. You're watching our video webcast online. You can just see that flag out there in right field by the scoreboard. Just blowing hard towards the right field foul line. The pitch. Varashka checks his swing. And they say a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Beverlin was hoping to get that call on the inside corner, but it was just a little too far inside for home plate umpire Troy Teal. So two and two. And in on his hands, ball's fouled off. Now, Mr. Teal is out of baseballs. The on deck hitter Storm. Retrieves it and gets it back to Mason Williams, who throws it out to Beverlin. Now, another baseball makes its way to home plate. 
Two balls, two strikes. A runner with a lead down there at second base. Two outs here in the top of the third. Breaking ball by Beverly stays upstairs. We're full at three and two. Two out single by Bristow, a two out double by Thunderbird. Another run is scored, it's 4-2. Full count pitch, here it is. And that will miss down low. Two on with two out now. Now Coach Luber, pitching coach, will come out and have a quick conversation with Luke Beverlin, just trying to get him refocused right here. The Webb City Chamber of Commerce is a proud supporter of the Cardinals, wants to wish them much success throughout the season. The Webb City Chamber of Commerce, a proud supporter of the Webb City School District. Entire infield up on the mound, listening to what Coach Luber has to say. Years and years of wisdom at the professional level. I'm imparting that wisdom onto these youngsters here at Webb City. Two down. Brings up Marshall Storm. Storm in there on the right side. Runners on at first and second base. Two outs. Two runs are in. Pitch by Beverly. And a fly ball. Right center field. Young started back. Now he's coming in. It hangs up in the air. He'll make the play for the final out. Branson scores two. We head to the bottom of the third. Web City 4, Branson 2 on the KNEO and Web City Cardinal Sports Network. Christ Family Insurance and Financial Services has been caring for clients since 1990 and is still here to take care of all your insurance needs from auto, home, business, life, and health insurance to group health insurance for businesses plus financial services. To find out more information, call the dedicated team at Price Family Insurance and Financial Services today at 417-673-8338 or stop by and see them at 100 South Main Street in Web City. You can also learn more online at PriceFamilyInsurance.com. Web City Cardinal fans, did you know there's a local, knowledgeable, friendly pharmacy conveniently located at 101 West Doherty in Web City? We are Express RX of Web City. And the best part is we can save you up to 90% on your prescriptions from the big box stores. We make it so easy to switch. Plus, we offer free convenient services such as free delivery, drive through and free pill packaging. So come by and make the switch today. And go Cardinals! Proudly supporting the Web City Cardinals is Baker Davis Roderick CPAs. BDR provides payroll, bookkeeping, and bill payment services for churches and small businesses. Baker Davis Roderick at 920 East 15th Street in Joplin, 782 0829, or online at BDRCPAS.com. A proud supporter of the Web City Cardinals. Other sponsors. Our game this evening, the Missouri Southern State University, Web City Booster Club, Brock Sheet Metal, and Dairy Queen of Web City. Top of the fourth, fourth, or bottom of the third, I beg your pardon, 4-2 Cardinals on top of the Branson Pirates. Third baseman, Hunter Scholl. Here's Hunter Scholl. Scholl hit by a pitch his first time up. It's going to be Scholl, Williams, and Epler, 7, 8, and 9 in the Web City lineup. The wind, the pitch. Going to miss outside. One ball, no strikes. On Hunter Scholl. Jones delivers. He'll miss in 2-0. Well, after throwing 32 pitches in the first inning, that was pitch number 55 in the game. There's a high chopper off a home plate down the third base line and foul. Two balls, one strike on Hunter Scholl, the Webb City third baseman. 
Treats to home plate, hits out of that slightly open stance. As the high socks, pants by the knees. Breaking ball outside corner, strike two, two and two. Scholl digs back in the batter's box. 2-2 two -two pitch, here it is. Breaking ball going to hit him. Scholl hit by a pitch for the second time in the game. Cardinals have their leadoff man on down there at first base. The catcher, Mason Williams. Here is Mason Williams, walked his first time up. See if the Cards can get a few of those runs back that they gave up in the top half of this inning. Webb on top, 4-2. to two, Still no activity in the Branson bullpen. Bottom of the third inning. Branson's out hit Webb City 5-4, to four, but the Cardinals lead 4-2. to two. Mason didn't want to do it, but he checks his swing and fouls it off. Strike one. Mason Williams, the Webb City catcher. Coach Donig in the background, yelling out the play call as the players check their wristbands. Pitch on the way to Mason Williams way outside. We're even at one ball, one strike. A lead down there at first base by Scholl. He was hit by a pitch. Fakes him. Bluff to second base. And that pitch is going to stay upstairs. It's ball two. Two and one here on Mason Williams. Cardinals will be back at home on Thursday against Springdale. One o'clock start on Thursday afternoon. Let's go to first base. Scholl back in there with the head first slide. Two one pitch, right through there for a strike on Williams. Counts two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Scholl a lead at first base. Here's the two two pitch, and lofted foul first base side out of play. A couple bounces over there in the parking lot. Now roll on the back side of the building. Two balls, two strikes. Chopper down towards third by Williams. A high bounce and no play for the third baseman. Poor Williams hustling down the line. It was a high chopper. Williams hustling down to first. In the second base goes Scholl. It's an infield single. Shortstop, Cohen Epler. Here's Cohen Epler. By the time poor, the third baseman had that ball get to him. Williams was three quarters of the way down the line. Here's Epler. Let's see if Coach Donick might have him trying to move the runners over here with a bunt. First and second base, nobody out. He will square to bunt. Jones a long time. Here's the pitch. And Epler pulls the bat back. Ball one. Might have been the longest time I've ever seen a batter just stay in a stance to bunt the ball as a pitcher. Just sitting out there staring at him, staring at him. Like who will break first? And Epler said, I'm not moving. And Jones finally delivered the pitch. Again, Jones a long, long time. Here's the pitch. Epler will bunt this one foul. Or even at one ball, one strike. Two 
Hunter Scholl down there at second base, hit by a pitch to begin the inning. Andrew Elwell, the courtesy runner, down there at first base. He is running for Mason Williams, who had an infield single. One ball, one strike on Cohen Epler, the Cardinals shortstop. He'll square to bunt once again. And the pitch. Epler pulls the bat back. Two balls, one strike. Epler squares to bunt. Jones delivers. A strike on the outside corner, two and two. Let's see if the bunt is still on or if Coach Donig will take it off here with two strikes. Conventional wisdom says you take it off. Let Epler swing away. Two balls, two strikes, two on, nobody out. Cards on top, four to two here in the bottom of the third. Pitch to Epler. Breaking ball, strike three call, got him looking. One down for the Cardinals here in the third. Center fielder, Andrew Young. Right, here is Andrew Young. Young has flied out to right, reached on an air back in the first, came around the score. Two on, one out for the Cardinals, bottom of the third. Check of the runner back there at second base by Jones. The pitch. And well, or beg your pardon, Young squares to bunt. Bunts it foul. Third base side. Strike one. Sponsors of the game here this evening, Express RX and Web City, Body and Soul Transformation, Nick Meyer CPA and Crowder College. No balls, one strike on Andrew Young. Now the first baseman, Bristow, playing behind. The runner, Elwell, down there at first base. Long look of the runner at second, the pitch. Fastball going to miss away. Runners on base, Jones slows things way down there on the mound. A long look in for the side. Finally has it. A pitch on the way to Young. A fastball right down central, and the count goes to one and two. One ball, two strikes on Andrew Young. Two on with one out here in the bottom of the third. Cards lead this game four to two. Branson got two in the top half of this inning to cut the lead in half. Now Jones will spin and drive the runner back to the second base back. Young back in the batter's box. And the pitch. Ground ball down to second. Could be two to second for one. Return throw to first. Not in time. Young beats it out. They get the out at second. Wasn't hit as hard by Young as the second baseman Atkinson would have liked. They get the out at second. Runners out the corners now with two down. Brings up Sam Weller. Weller in there on the left side with runners at the corners and two down. Weller swings. He'll foul this one off third base side out of play. Cardinals three in the first, one in the second. Branson with two here in the top of the third. Cardinals have two on with two out. 
after they had two on with nobody out. Pitch to Weller. Runner off and going, a ground ball down towards second in the vacated spot. It's going to dribble into right center field. One run is in, and here comes Young around third base. He's going to try and score. He is in there safe. Andrew Young off and running, scores on a little dribbling single into right center field. Cardinals plate two runs on the play, and they lead 6-2. to two. Weller's going to pick up two RBIs. If you're a Kansas City Royals fan, it takes you back to the ALCS in 2015. Now batting first baseman, Sean Hunt. When uh, Eric Hosmer singled down the right field line, Lorenzo Kane scored from first base. This ball was not hit near as deep, but Andrew Young, same result, scores from first base on a single to shallow right center field. Six-two Cardinals on top. Sean Hunt up there. He is two for two in the game. A runner at second base. One ball, no strikes on him. Now they'll drive Weller back to the second base back. The Cardinals get the runs back. They gave up in the top half of this inning. See if Hunt can knock in one more. Breaking ball going to miss inside. Two and zero. Oh. Hunt back in the batter's box. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Gonna catch the outside corner for a strike. That was pitch number 77 in the ball game for Jones. Two balls, one strike, runner at second base, the pitch to Hunt. Down low, and a wild throw into the left field as Weller stole third base, and another run's going to score as the ball skipped past the third baseman, Poor. It was a low throw that time by the catcher, Strom. The Cardinals lead 7-2. to two. Cardinals aggressive on the bases. It pays off. 7-2, Webb City on top. Three balls, one strike here on Sean Hunt. Breaking ball outside, ball four. Left fielder, Drew Vonderhaar. A meeting at the mound. Pitching coach comes out for the Branson Pirates. Let you know that Pam Drake at Roderick Insurance Agency, a proud supporter of the Cardinals, Roderick Insurance Agency, has served the area since 1945. They're located at 108 North Main Street in Webb City, offering insurance plans including auto, home, business, and more from a variety of companies. For more information, 673-1242, online at roderickinsuranceagency.com. 7-2 Cardinals with the lead. Seven runs, six hits, no errors for Webb City. Two runs, five hits, two errors by the Pirates. Fondahar steps in on the right side. RBI double his last time up, and there's a throw or pitch behind Vondahar all the way back to the backstop. And Drew has a smile on his face. Sean Hunt down to second. They're in scoring position for Drew Vondahar. Uh, Drew takes a fastball inside corner, strike one. One ball, one strike. Check of the runner back there at second base, the pitch. Breaking ball, going to stay outside, two and one. Cardinals three in the first, one in the second, three so far here in the third. They lead 7-2 with a runner at second base and two outs. A hanging breaking ball, and that's going to be knocked into left field. 
Hunt will stop at third base. As up quickly with the ball is Storm. Another hit for Drew Vondahar. Two for two in the ball game today. Right fielder, Shadrach Salazar. Here's Shadrach Salazar. He has struck out and hit by a pitch. See if Shad can collect his first hit of the season with runners at first and third base. And two outs. Salazar will foul this one off at a home plate. Strike one. Salazar, the eighth batter to come to the plate here in the inning. 84 pitches now in the ball game for Jones. Runner off and going, breaking ball, swing and a miss. They're going to throw down the second. And in there safely is Vonderhaar. Another stolen base for Drew, his second of the game. Salazar down on the count, no balls, two strikes. For Jones to go back with the breaking ball right here. Salazar has struggled picking it up here today. The 0 2 pitch. And that's fouled off back and out of play. So again, we are out of baseballs. One comes into play from the Webb City dugout. A base hit could play two and extend Webb City's lead even more. No balls, two strikes on Salazar. Runners on second and third. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, strike three. Down go the Cardinals here in the third, but they score three. We head to the 4-7-2 Cardinals on top on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. Reeves Tire and Automotive knows cars are how you navigate through your busy lives. Professionals will ensure your car is reliable to get you and your family to your destination. We provide competitive pricing and quality work on tires, wheels, oil changes, brakes, suspensions, alignments, and vehicle maintenance. All necessary to ensure your vehicle is ready to go. Family owned and operated for over 39 years, you will receive friendly, honest service. So get rolling with Reeves Tire in Joplin, Web City, and Carthage. Papa John's Pizza in Webb City can satisfy your hunger cravings before or after the game. Stop by and pick up one of their specialty pizzas, like the Works, the Meats, or the Barbecue Chicken Bacon. Don't forget to grab a side order of breadsticks or Papa's Wings to top off your order. Papa John's Pizza in Webb City, 417-673-7272, or order online at PapaJohns.com or through the Papa John's app. Go Cardinals! Back here in Web City, sponsors tonight, Reeves Tire and Automotive, Papa John's Pizza of Web City, Who Hot Mongolian Grill, Price Family Insurance, and Financial Services. Now batting the catcher, Aaron Strong. Top of the fourth, Cardinals extended their lead. They're on top seven to two. Aaron Strong, the catcher, to lead things off. If you're Beverly right here, you'd love a quick one, two, three, top of the fourth inning and get your team right back into the dugout to hit once again. No balls and a strike on Straub. That pitch will miss inside for a ball. That's going to miss down low and away. Two balls, one strike. Strom singled his first time up. 2-1 pitch. Upstairs, ball three, three and one. Beverlyn can find the zone once again right here. Three consecutive balls. 3-1 pitch. That's going to miss upstairs, ball four. A walk to Strom to lead off the inning. Now batting third baseman, Jansen Poor. Tegan Asbury, the courtesy runner, coming on for Strom at first base. Here's Jansen Poor. He flew out to center his first time up. 
Beverly would like a double play ball. And going to miss upstairs, ball one. Pitch number 59 in the ball game for Luke. Check of the runner at first base. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Or even at one ball, one strike. Web City Chamber of Commerce, a proud supporter of the Web City Cardinals, wants to wish them much success throughout the season. The Web City Chamber of Commerce, a proud supporter of the Web City School District. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Pour down on the count, one and two. Cardinals on top, 7-2. to two. Top of the fourth inning from Barnes Field in Webb City on a windy but warmer afternoon. Temperatures in the mid-60s. The 1-2 pitch, here it is. A hot smash foul, third base side. One ball, two strikes. JV game to follow after this one. Here's the one-two pitch. In the dirt, gets away from Mason Williams on the play. Pinch or courtesy runner Asbury goes down to second base. Two and two on Jansen Poor. Ryder Schroeder awaits on Dackey Homeward in the third inning. Two two pitch by Beverlin. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes poor for out number one. The shortstop, Ryder Schroeder. Here's Ryder Schroeder. He was down on the count one, two. Got a pitch over the plate. And belted it over the right field fence for a solo home run to lead off the third. Runner at second base there with one down. Beverlin checks the runner. Here's the pitch to Schroeder. Ground ball foul, third base side. No balls, one strike on Ryder Schroeder. The big nickel, sub shop deli in Webb City, Roderick Insurance Agency all sponsoring the game. No balls, one strike on Schroeder. The pitch squares to Bunt, takes the pitch upstairs. Or even a one ball, one strike. Shoal in on the edge of the grass at third base. They're pinched up the middle right now are the Cardinals middle infielders. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss by Schroeder. And we're at one and two. You want to get Schroeder right here. Colin Ross, the leadoff man, is on deck. One ball, two strikes. Now Beverly's going to step off. Luke's at 67 pitches in the game. Comes set. Here's the one-two pitch on the way to Schroeder. Fastball high and away. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Schroeder down swinging for the second out of the inning. The right fielder, Colin Russ. Seven strikeouts in the game for Luke Beverlin. Now two down. It's the leadoff man, Colin Ross, with a runner at second base. Now Mason Williams is going to ask for time, wants to go out and talk with Beverlin real quick. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals begin the 2024 season at Arvest Ballpark on Friday, April 5th. First, the Tulsa Drillers at 7.05 p.m., for ticket information, nwanaturals.com, a proud supporter of high school baseball on KNEO. And now here comes Coach Donig. See if 
Coach Donig's going to make a pitching change. 69 pitches in the game here for Beverlyn. And he'll take the baseball. The Cardinals will make a pitching change. We'll step aside for a 60-second break on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. Why did Jesus die on a cross? Jesus came to give himself to you because he loves you. Billy Graham wanted everyone to know how much Jesus loved them. And when he died on that cross, God laid all of our sins on him. He became guilty of murder, of lying, of adultery, of greed. All the sins that you and I have were laid on him. He voluntarily did it because he loves you. But Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave on the third day, and now he stands in heaven, waiting for you to surrender your heart to him. That's what the cross is all about. That's what the resurrection is all about. That's what the blood of Christ is all about. You can learn more about the cross and resurrection of Jesus at findpeacewithgod.net. That's findpeacewithgod.net. From the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. New pitcher in the ball game for Webb City. Number 22, Brett Korth. Korth, a right-hander. Going through his warm-up tosses out there on the mound. Since 1985, Brock Sheet Metal has been serving Webb City in the surrounding area, offering repair and replacement on all types of heat and air systems owned by Daryl and Karen Brock. Brock Sheet Metal 673-2611, a backer of the Webb City Cardinals on KNEO. McCorth comes in, the 7-2 lead. Now pitching for Webb City, number 22, Brett Korth. Korth says he's good to go. In steps Colin Ross. Ross, the right fielder for the Pirates. 0 for 2 in the game against Beverly. Struck out in the first, flew out to left back in the third. Runner at second base is Beverly's responsibility. Fastball by Kors, going to miss high and away, ball one. Just in the top of the fourth inning, Cardinals lead 7-2. to two. There's a strike on the outside corner. We're even at one ball, one strike. Asbury, the courtesy runner down there at second base, takes his lead. Korth checks him and delivers. Another fastball on the outside corner, strike two. One ball, two strikes on Colin Ross. Wind continues to blow it 23 to 33 miles per hour out towards right field. One, two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Ross, down go the Pirates in the fourth. They strand a runner at second base. To the bottom of the fourth we go. Web City on top, seven to two on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. Proud to support the Cardinals and serve the Web City and surrounding areas is Madison Pet Clinic. Located at 1631 South Madison in Web City, they specialize in pet surgery, wellness exams, and vaccinations. Open Monday through Friday 8 to 5.30 and Saturday 8 to noon. Madison Pet Clinic is a proud supporter of the Web City Cardinals. 673-2455 or online at madisonpetclinic.com. Go Cardinals! If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named CareCheck's number one hospital in the market and top 10% hospital in the state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Cardinals lead 7-2 as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning against the Branson Pirates from Barnesfield and Webb City. New pitcher in the ball game. It's going to 
be Will Thunderberg, who was the DH. He's come in to pitch. Right-hander finishing his warm-up tosses. Now pitching for Branson, Will Thunderberg. Cardinals will have Christian Brock, Hunter Scholl, Mason Williams up there to begin the bottom of the fourth inning. The designated hitter, Christian Brock. If you're Webb, you wouldn't mind scoring five right here then trying to end it in the top half of the fifth. Brock is grounded out to second, also grounded out to first in the ball game. Thunderberg, a right-hander, brings it home. Breaking ball drops right into the zone, strike one. Cardinals have scored in every inning so far. Brock will hit a hanging breaking ball in the left center field for a leadoff single. Brock, his first hit of the game. Was right on that one. Runner at first base, nobody out. Third baseman, Hunter Scholl. Here is Hunter Scholl. Hunter hit by a pitch and scored back in the third, hit by a pitch back in the first. Going for the trifecta here in this inning. Ground ball down towards second, could be two, second for one. Throw to first base in time, a four, six, three. Double play, and two down for the Cardinals in the fourth. Good turn by Atkinson and Schroeder, the second and short, second baseman and shortstop. The catcher, Mason Williams. And here is Mason Williams. Williams steps in on the right side. Breaking ball to Williams, misses inside, ball one. Missouri Southern State University, a sponsor, the Webb City Booster Club, Brock Sheet Metal, and the Dairy Queen of Webb City. Ground ball back up the middle into center field for a base hit, the second hit in the ball game. Off the bat of Mason Williams, he's on safely at first base with two down. Andrew Elwell to come on and run for him at first base. Shortstop, Cohen Epler. Epler steps in on the right side. Epler will take a strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Elwell, a lead down there at first base. He is there with two outs. Throw to first base, runner back in there safely. Seven runs, nine hits for Webb City. Two runs, five hits for the Branson Pirates. There's a ground ball into left field, past the diving third baseman, poor. It's a hit by, Ep by Epler, his first of the game. Now, how big is that double play by the Pirates? As they erase a runner on base, third hit of the inning. Runners at first and second now with two down. The center fielder, Andrew Young. Here is Andrew Young. Ten hits now in the game for the Cards. Young can hit something on a line and find an alley and use that speed to run for a while. Funderburk, the right-hander, stares in for the sign, comes set, checks the runner back at second base. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, going to stay outside, ball one. Thunderberg nods his head yes to his side. 
Here's the 1 0 pitch. Up high, ball 2 2 0 on Andrew Young. Elwell a lead down there at second base. Epler on at first base. Now they're going to throw behind Elwell at second. He is back into second in plenty of time. Young back in the batter's box. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Fastball outside corner, strike one. Two balls, one strike on the Web City Cardinal center fielder, Andrew Young. 2-1 pitch. Breaking ball, chop foul, first base side. So again, flirting with extra bases down the right field line was Young. We'll send a player out of the Branson dugout to jog down to the right field fence to pick up that ball. Two two pitch on the way to Andrew Young from Thunderbird. Fastball swing and a miss, and strike three. Was that was Elwell? They said the ball hit the ground. They said it was not a clean catch by the catcher. Runner was off and going from second base. Elwell takes third. They threw to third instead of throwing to first. Everyone's going to be safe, and they're loaded for Sam Weller. Umpires confirming, and they say was not a clean catch by the catcher, Strom. So they are loaded now for Weller. A strange turn of events, but Cardinals will take it. Uh, Coach Kirk Harriman wants to have a conversation with Troy Teal, the home plate umpire. A strikeout of Young, but the ball was in the dirt. Elwell got to third. The catcher threw down to third. Elwell was safe. And down at first base is Young. Down at second base. Now batting second baseman, Sam Weller. Is Epler. So the door remains open for the Cardinals. Let's see if they can capitalize right here. Weller, a three-run home run yesterday. Had three RBIs. Weller, a two-run RBI single back in the third, singled and scored back in the first as well. Weller ground ball, base hit in the right field off the glove of the first baseman, Bristow. One run is in, two runs are in. Down to third base goes Young. Two more RBIs by Sam Weller, and the Cardinals lead this game 9-2. to two. First baseman, Sean Hunt. Cardinals still with runners at the corners. Weller with four RBIs in the game. Here's Sean Hunt. He has walked a single twice, scored twice, has an RBI. That pitch will miss away, ball one. Cardinals three in the first, one in the second, three in the third, two here in the fourth. They lead 9-0, or 9-2, I beg your pardon. Hunt in there on the right side, the pitch. Runner off and going, pitch in the dirt, no throw. Weller down there at second base. Another base hit by 
Hunt could knock in two. Cardinals sent nine to the plate in the first inning, eight to the plate in the third. This is the seventh batter here in the fourth. Pitch will catch the inside corner for a strike. Two balls and a strike on Hunt. There's those Columbia blue shoes with the Columbia blue batting gloves. And Hunt fouls this one off first base side, well out of play. Two balls, two strikes on Sean Hunt. 9-2 Cardinals on top. Bottom of the fourth inning. Thunderberg staring in for the sign. Has it. And the pitch. Breaking ball and a high fly ball center field. Roshka coming in. He'll squeeze it and make the play, but the Cardinals score two. We head it to the fifth. Web City on top, 9-2 to two on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. Burpo Family Chiropractic is not just a place for adults, but for kids as well. From birth to geriatrics, Dr. Haley Burpo has the skills and knowledge to help patients of any age. Dr. Burpo is committed to taking time with her patients to go above and beyond to find the source of pain. To schedule an appointment, call 417-673-5555. Burpo Family Chiropractic, once a cardinal, now treating cardinals. More information in names and numbers. Being a lion comes with a reputation for excellence. Whether it's in the classroom, on the court, or in the community, lions are leading the way. With innovative and immersive academic programs, new scholarship opportunities, and a campus committed to the future, now is the perfect time to find your purpose. Find your pride at Missouri Southern State University. Top of the hour, you're listening to KNEO 91.7 FM, Neo Show Joplin, live online at KNEO.org, along with studio producer Roberta Foster back in our KNEO studios. Adam Winkler here with you. Cards on top, 9 to 2. Be the two, three, and four hitters up there for Branson here in the fifth. Now batting second baseman, Sam Atkinson. Sam Atkinson will step in there on the right side for the Branson Pirates to begin the inning. Atkinson has struck out twice in the game here today. Pitch from Brett Korth will find the outside corner, strike one. No balls, one strike, the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back, strike two. And no balls, two strikes. Korth nods his head yes to his sign and pitches. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Atkinson for the third time in the game on strikeouts. First baseman, Andrew Bristow. Here's Andrew Bristow. Bristow in there on the right side. Takes a pitch up high, ball one. Bristow is flied out to center, singled and scored back in the third. Big swing and a miss, comes up empty. One ball and one strike. Pro Loop Tire and Auto Center is sponsor, Madison Pet Clinic, Baker Davis Roderick CPAs. Breaking ball, a chopper down to Epler at short. Nice big hop, throw to first. A good stretch by Mr. Hunt at first base and two down. The pitcher, Will Funderburg. Here's Will Funderburg, a two RBI double his last time up to right center field. Struck out back in the second. Pitch to Funderburk, and 
High towering pop up on the infield. Epler, the shortstop, calling for it. He'll make the play. Down go the Pirates in the fifth. To the bottom of the fifth we go. Cards on top by the score of 9-2 to on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. Web City Cardinal fans, did you know there's a local, knowledgeable, friendly pharmacy conveniently located at 101 West Doherty in Web City? We are Express RX of Web City. And the best part is we can save you up to 90% on your prescriptions from the big box stores. We make it so easy to switch. Plus, we offer free convenient services such as free delivery, drive through and free pill packaging. So come by and make the switch today. And go Cardinals! For a long time in my life, I thought the Bible was for someone else, and it didn't really apply to me. Boy, was I ever wrong. Everything in my life that had been difficult or defective had been because of me. And when I finally turned my life over to Jesus Christ and accepted Him as my Savior, that's when I began to experience a new life. If you want to speak to someone about beginning a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, call 888-NEED-HIM. 888-NEED-HIM. Now pitching for Branson, number five, Jansen Hoare. Nine, two Cardinals on top. Bottom of the fifth. You just heard new pitcher in the ball game for Branson, Jansen Poor. He's the third baseman who comes in to pitch. Funderburg goes to play third. Left fielder, Drew Vonderhaar. Here's Drew Vonderhaar for Webb City. Drew three, two for two. Doubled back in the second, singled back in the third. Takes a pitch outside for a ball. Cardinals get three here in this inning. They can end the ball game early. 9-2 Webb City on top. It's going to be Vondahar, Salazar, and Brock. 1-0 pitch. Upstairs. Two balls, no strikes. Shadows starting to creep across the field here at Barnes Field. Fondahar ropes this one down the third baseline. It's fair and into the corner. Drew around first base and he'll stop and now turns back on the Jets as the ball's mishandled down the left field line. And Vondahar into second base. Vondahar down at second for the Cardinals. The right fielder, Shadrach Salazar. Here is Shadrach Salazar. Salazar 0 for 2 has been hit by a pitch, struck out a couple times. Now a meeting inside the, or meeting in the mound. Be a single and an air. Von Dehar with his third hit in the ball game, then an air on the left fielder storm. Pitch to Salazar. A swing and a miss. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Check of the runner, pitch in the dirt. One and one, Christian Brock is on deck for Webb City. Magic number for the Cardinals is three here in the inning. Three runs and you end it early. Nine, two, Webb City on top. They've out hit the Pirates 12 to five. Swing and a miss by Salazar, strike two. One 
One ball, two strikes on Salazar. Rests the bat on his back shoulder. One two pitch. Lays off that breaking ball in the dirt. Now Vondahar down to third as it scoots away from the catcher Strom. Vondahar at third base, nobody out. Two balls, two strikes on Salazar. Infield is in. Breaking ball, strike three call on the outside corner. And one down. Designated hitter, Christian Brock. Here's Christian Brock. Singled his last time up, also has an RBI back in the first inning on a ground out. Can knock in another run right here with a base hit or a fly ball. Infield is drawn in to cut down the run at the plate. Brock, a chopper, foul, third base side. Vondahar single down the left field line to begin the inning. Then the ball was mishandled out there by Storm, the left fielder. Drew went to second. It's down there at third base now with one down. Pitch to Brock. Sees a pitch down low and away. One ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball. Ball two, two and one. Hunter Scholl will follow. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss by Christian Brock. Strike two, two and two. Brock back in the batter's box. 2-2 two -two pitch, here it is. A high chopper. Now look the runner back to third, throw to first is not in time. The wheels of Christian Brock, he gets down to first base. Beats the throw. Coach Harriman, the Branson coach, now wants to have a word with the Field umpire saying the first baseman Bristow pulled his foot off the bag. Now batting third baseman Hunter Scholl. Two on with one out. Brock a lead at first base. Fonda Harley down there at third. Scholl a swing and a miss, strike one. Scholl hit into a 4-6-3 double play his last time up. He's been hit by a pitch twice in the game, has scored once. Squares to bunt. Brock off and going towards second base, and he is out. Brock caught stealing, second out of the inning. No balls, two strikes on Scholl, the pitch. A chopper down towards third, glove by Funderburk. Throws to first and out at first base, and the inning is over. We head to the 6-9-2 Webb City on top on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named CareCheck's number one hospital in the market and top 10% hospital in the state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Papa John's Pizza in Webb City can satisfy your hunger cravings before or after the game. 
Stop by and pick up one of their specialty pizzas, like the works, the meats, or the barbecue chicken bacon. Don't forget to grab a side order of breadsticks or Papa's wings to top off your order. Papa John's Pizza in Web City, 417-673-7272, or order online at papajohns.com or through the Papa John's app. Go Cardinals! Top of the six inning, Barnes Field and Webb City. Cardinals on top, nine to two. Brett Korth back out there for another inning of work for Webb City. Cards failed to score for the first time in the ball game in the bottom of the fifth. They scored in every inning prior to that. Now batting for the Pirates, center fielder Caleb Maraschka. It's going to be Caleb Varashka to lead things off for Branson. Five, six, and seven in the lineup. Varashka, Storm, and Strom. If anyone gets on, poor. And Korth paints the outside corner, strike one. No balls, one strike. That's going to miss down low, one and one. One one pitch by Brett Korth. Swing and a miss by Varashka. Strike two. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, a sponsor, Burpo Family Chiropractic, Arvis Wealth Management, and Snodgrass Collision Center. One two pitch. Breaking ball, fly ball, right field. Salazar is going to have to play it on a hop, and Varashka is going to lead off the inning with a single. The left fielder, Marshall Storm. Here's Marshall Storm. Storm in there on the right side. Runner at first base, nobody out. And he'll foul this one off the netting behind home plate. Strike one. Don't forget to download the KNEO iPhone and Android phone apps. Those are sponsored by the Web City Booster Club. No balls, one strike. Check of the runner at first base, the pitch. Ground ball back up the middle, could be two. Epler is going to throw to first for the out as the ball scooted off the mound and it slowed down. It lost speed, so Epler had to charge in front of the bag at second. His only play was to first. On the play, Varashka goes to second. The catcher, Aaron Strom. Here's Aaron Strom, the catcher. Has walked and singled in the game. Varashka down there at second base there with one down. 9-2 Cardinals lead, top of the sixth. Fastball going to miss inside. 9 runs, 13 hits, no errors for Webb City. 2 runs, 6 hits, 3 errors on the Pirates. Pitch by Korth. Here it is. Line shot right field, base hit. Varashka around second or around third. Throw home is not going to be in time by Salazar. It's an RBI single off the bat of Strom. It's a 9-3 ball game here in the top of the sixth. Now batting the pitcher, Jansen Poor. Here's Jansen Poor. First time the Pirates have scored since this third inning. Poor in there on the right side. A ground ball down to Weller at second. They go to second for one, throw to first, and it's going to be off the mark. Hunt knocks it down, but Poor is safe at first base. The two down with a runner at first. Shortstop, Ryder, Schroeder. Once again, that ball not hit as hard as you would like it for a Taylor-made double play. Runner at first base, two down. Here's Schroeder, the right or the shortstop. Schroeder homer to right back in the third, struck out back in the fourth. We're in the top of the sixth. Webb City on top of Branson, 9-3. to three. Home opener for the Cardinals here at 
Chuck Barnes Field in Webb City. Swing and a miss by Schroeder. And we're even at one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Fastball missing away, 2-1. Coming set at the letters is Korth. The high chopper to home plate. And we're even at two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, one on, two out. Top of the six, Cardinals lead nine to three. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down go the Pirates. In the sixth, to the bottom of the sixth we go. Cardinals on top, 9-3 to three, here on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. What of America's... Well, what kind of a man or woman should you be if you're going to be used of God? Billy Graham. The man God uses will have a love for his brothers and sisters in the ministry. Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples and that you have love one to another. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. And then secondly, we are to serve one another. Jesus said, whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be the servant of all. Our Lord washing the disciples' feet. We should be servants of one another. Thirdly, we are to be patient with each other. The servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men. Paul said in First. Thessalonians 5, be patient with each other. Patience, service, love. These are the qualities of a true servant of God. Learn more at findpeacewithgod.net. That's findpeacewithgod.net. We're the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. City Cardinals on top, 9-3 to three, over the Branson Pirates. Tonight's game is sponsored by the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. They begin their 2024 season at Arvest Ballpark on Friday, April 5th versus Tulsa Drillers at 7.05 p.m. More information at nwanaturals.com. Now batting catcher, Mason Williams. Here is Mason Williams. Williams two for two in the ball game. Two singles, walked back in the first. So a good start to the season for the Cardinals. Pitch by Poor is down low and it's going to get Strom and Strom's going to take a minute here. Take a minute to let you know the Cardinals will be back in action on Thursday here at Barnes Field in Webb City. One o'clock first pitch against Springdale. One ball, no strikes. There's a chopper down towards short. Glove by the shortstop, Schroeder throws to first, and they say out at first base. A one down for the Cardinals. Shortstop, Cohen Epler. Here's Cohen Epler. Williams was vying for a perfect day at the plate. Just about a quarter of a step behind that throw. One down, Epler singled his last time up, came around the score. Take a pitch through there for a strike. Here's the 0-1. There's a line shot down to shortstop. Schroeder bobbles it, has no play. Lost his footing right there a little bit, slipped. The ball was right at his eye level as he squatted down to try and make a play and then bounced off his glove. Fourth error of the game on the Pirates. Center fielder Andrew Young. Here's Andrew Young. Young will step in on the left side with Epler on down there at first base. 
Wind continues to blow hard out towards right field. Young squares to bunt, breaking ball inside, ball one. Epler creeps away over there at first base. Nice size lead. Young will chop this one into right field. For a base hit, Epler will stop at second. Andrew Young is first hit of the game. Second baseman, Sam Weller. Here's Sam Weller. Sam, three for four in the ball game. Three singles, four RBIs. Only time he got out was on a nice play by the first baseman, Bristow. A diving snag on a liner by Weller. Two on, one out. Nine, three Cardinals on top. Weller, a high fly ball right center field. And... Making the play out there is Varashka. Some miscommunication out there between Varashka, the center fielder, Ross, the right fielder. Not sure if Ross lost it in the sun, possibly, or lost it off the bat now. Taking second base is Andrew Young as the Pirates weren't paying attention. No one was covering the second base back, so runners on at second and third with two down. Now batting Sean Hunt. Here's Sean Hunt. Flew out his last time up. So two outs with two on. Sean, two singles, two runs scored. Has also walked and has an RBI. Nine three Cardinals lead, bottom of the six with two on and two out. And Hunt will foul this one off, strike one. Make sure you download the KNEO iPhone and Android phone apps. Those are sponsored by the Web City Booster Club. No balls, one strike on Hunt. Two on, two out. It's a pitch on the way. It's going to miss down low. Good stop by the catcher, Strom. He'll keep Epler down there at third base. One ball, one strike on Hunt. Poor set at the letters. Hunt will drive this one to the right center field gap. That ball is going to carry all the way to the fence. Two runs will score. Sean around first on his way to second base. He'll stop right there. It's a double for Sean Hunt. Two more RBIs. Three hits in the ball game for the big first baseman for the Cardinals. Three RBIs. The Cardinals lead 11-3. Left fielder Drew Vonderhaar. Epler scores from third. Young from second. Here's Vondahar, who's had an outstanding game as well. Three hits has also been hit by a pitch. And drew a big swing and a miss right there. No contact. Strike one. Vondahar, an RBI double in the second. Singled back in the third. Singled back in the fifth. Went to second on an error by the left fielder, Storm. Hunt to lead at second base there with two outs. Two runs are in. Pitch to Vondahar. He'll tomahawk this one foul, third base side. Drew down on the count, 0-2. Oh His double back in the second inning went off the base of the wall in right field. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball, going to miss inside. One ball, two strikes.
Poor comes set. The pitch. Breaking ball down low and away, two and two. Hunt to lead down there at second base. Pitch to Vondahar on the way. In the dirt, ball three. Cardinals 11 runs on 15 hits here this evening. Three balls, two strikes on Vondahar. Hunt at second base. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball up high, ball four. And Drew is on base for the fifth time in the game. Right fielder Shadrach Salazar. Well, here's Salazar. Let's see if Shad can get a hit here. If he can plug a gap, he could end the game. Runners will be off and moving with contact. Pitch by Poor on the way. There's a chopper and off the glove of Thunderbird, the third baseman. Everyone's going to be safe. It'll be a hit for Salazar. And they're loaded here for Christian Brock. Designated hitter, Christian Brock. So another inning. The Cardinals, this is their eighth batter to the plate. Brock, two singles in the game. A single right here could end it. Bases loaded, nowhere to put him. Swing and a miss, throw to first base, and Salazar is out at first base. They pick him off to end the inning. To the seventh we go, 11-3 Webb City on the KNEO and Webb City Cardinals Sports Network. Reeves Tire and Automotive knows cars are how you navigate through your busy lives. Professionals will ensure your car is reliable to get you and your family to your destination. We provide competitive pricing and quality work on tires, wheels, oil changes, brakes, suspensions, alignments, and vehicle maintenance. All necessary to ensure your vehicle is ready to go. Family owned and operated for over 39 years, you will receive friendly, honest service. So get rolling with Reeves Tire in Joplin, Webb City, and Carthage. Every Sunday from 4 p.m. to close, it's Student Night at Who Hot Mongolian Grill in Joplin. Students of any age can bring in your valid student ID and receive 25% off your grill meal. At Who Hot Mongolian Grill, you can always enjoy a vast selection of fresh vegetables, plus meats that are grilled perfectly right in front of your eyes with your choice of Who Hot's mouth-watering signature sauces. Who Hot Mongolian Grill, 1804 South Range Line Road in Joplin. More information online at whohot.com. Back here at Barnes Field in Webb City. Top of the seventh, last chance for the Branson Pirates as the Cardinals lead this game 11-3. Brett Korth out there trying to close things out for Webb City. And top of the order up for the Pirates here in the seventh. Now batting right fielder Colin Ross. Colin Ross has struck out twice, has also flied out to left. Korth came on to record the last out in the third inning, has been in there ever since. Pitch will miss up high, ball one. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Shot foul, third base side. Or even at one ball, one strike. The wind by Korth and the pitch. And smash foul down the third base line, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the one two offering. And another foul ball by Ross down the left field line. The 
One ball and two strikes. Korth has a sign and pitches. Up high and over the head of Mason. Williams, the catcher. It's two and two. Cardinals trying to close out the Pirates and go to 2-0 and on the season. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Ross spoils another one down the left field line, and once again, we are out of baseballs. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch will miss away. We're full at three balls and two strikes. And a high fly ball center field. Young coming in, makes the play for out number one. One down. Second baseman, Sam. Here's Sam Atkinson. Now batting number 25, Whit Miller. Double check that. Whit Miller will hit for Atkinson, who struggled at the plate here today. Whit Miller is a freshman. And there on the left side, takes the pitch down low. Miller in there on the left side, the 2-0 pitch. Up high, ball three, 3-0. Three and oh. Miller a big deep breath. Here's a 3-0 pitch on the way. Through there for a strike by Core, three and one. Swing and a foul. Count now three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Three two pitch on the way. And going to miss inside, ball four. Miller on safely at first base. First baseman, Andrew Bristow. Here's Andrew Bristow. Bristow has a single, has also flied out and grounded out. Bristow grounded out to the shortstop his last time up. He'll foul this one off, strike one. Sponsors tonight, Express RX and Web City, Body and Soul Transformation, Nick Meyer CPA, and Crowder College. No broadcast Thursday on the radio. One o'clock start here against Springdale. Breaking ball fouled off. Counts 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Check of the runner. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Gonna hit him. Two on now with. One down, top of the seventh. Now batting number 20, Will Thunderberg. Well, here's Will Thunderberg, the DH. Thunderberg in there on the right side. Korth trying to close this thing out for the Cardinals. A chopper down towards short. Epler charging. Wild throw to second into right field. A run's going to score. And now Bristow will move down to third. It's 11 to four. So an air on Epler. It's 
So Witt scores from third base. Center fielder Caleb Varashka. Here's Caleb Varashka. The Cardinals making things more difficult on themselves than they should here in the seventh. A walk, a hit batter, and an error. Pirates have a run across. It's 11 to 4. First error of the ball game for Webb City. A strike right through there from Korth to count 0 and 2. Here's Varashka. Varashka single his last time up. Also singled back in the second, flew out to center back in the third. Now Korth will step off. Now back on the rubber. O2 pitch, here it is. Fly ball right field. Salazar coming in. Now drifting back. He'll make the play for out number two. Tagging at third base is Bristow. He'll come home to score. It's now 11 to 5 in favor of the Cardinals. Two down, though, for Branson. Left fielder, Marshall Storm. Here's Marshall Storm. Last chance for the Pirates. Popped up first base side. That'll get back and out of play. Cardinals got three in the first, one in the second, three in the third, two in the fourth, two in the sixth. Branson at two in the third, one in the sixth, two here in the seventh. Korth delivers. Did he go around? Say no, he did not. One ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Thrown behind him. It counts 2-1. Korth comes set and delivers. It's a fly ball, left center field. Vondahar going back over his young in right center field, and Andrew Young runs it down for the final out of the game. The Cardinals win it here tonight by the final score of 11-5 over the Branson Pirates to improve to 2-0 on the season. A 90-second break. We'll come back and wrap it up on the KNEO and Web City Cardinals Sports Network. So, Maggie, just to be clear, this personalized Arvest blueprint tells us literally when we can retire with a plan to get there? Yep. Whoa, that's helpful. Very, Very helpful. helpful. <laughs> Retirement planning made easy. Arvest Wealth Management. Ready to help. The Web City Booster Club is proud to support Web City student athletes. The Booster Club works with parents, community volunteers, and businesses to enrich the experience of Web City High School athletics. They would like to encourage anyone interested in making an impact on our student athletes to consider joining the Booster Club. If you are an individual, family, or business and would like more information on joining the Boosters, you can stop by the Booster Trailer that is at all Cardinal home games, or you can find them on Facebook at Web City Athletic Booster Club. Web City Booster Club wishes all their athletes an amazing year. Go Cards! A new era in local sports begin. The Roper Kia Four State Sports Report is where you'll find all of your local sports information. Join sports director Michael Imami and reporters Chaz Wright and Tashina Coleman every night. We cover Little League, high school athletics, Missouri Southern, and Pittsburgh State, along with countless community colleges in the four states. We cover it all. So whether you're a Chiefs, Cardinals, Eagles, or Wildcats fan, you won't want to miss the Roper Kia Four State Sports Report. Web City wins it here tonight by the final score of 11 to 5 over the Branson Pirates. Cardinals now 2 and 0 on the season. Our post-game show sponsored by Price Family Insurance and Financial Services and Crowder College as the Cardinals 2 and 0 as they get set to face Springdale here at home on a Thursday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Cardinals tonight 11 runs, 16 hits, 1 error, 5 runs, 7 hits, 4 errors. 
by the Branson Pirates. Luke Beverlin pitched the first three and two thirds innings, five hits, two earned runs, struck out seven. And Brett Korth came on and sealed the deal for Webb City, three and a third innings, two hits, one earned run, and struck out three batters. Cardinals through their first two games of the season have scored 20 runs. You like the way the offense is cooking and you know this pitching staff is going to continue just to uh, pound the strike zone. Pitch count for some of these guys early on in the season but as we get later on in the spring you get a couple weeks under your belt you'll start to see these guys get to this, the 80s and 90s with their, with their pitch count but there's no reason to push things early on. It's a long regular season. Cardinals have a lot of games but what a job by Beverly and Chorus today for the Cardinals on the mound, keeping Branson at bay. Pirates, those four errors helped out the Cardinals as well, but Cardinals 2-0 get set for Springdale here at home on a Thursday afternoon at 1 o'clock, awaiting Coach Donick as he's talking with his players down there around the third base area. We'll have our post-game conversation with him, but got to feel good with the way Cardinals are swinging the bats early on this season. And we'll talk to Coach about that here momentarily as he'll join us up here in the press box for his post-game conversation. Cardinals struck out six times as a team today, but they struck out Branson ten times overall. Cardinals also walked three times. I mentioned they scored in every inning except for the fifth inning here in the ball game tonight. So Beverly's going to pick up the win. He is 1-0 on the season. Hunter Jones takes the loss for Branson. He pitched three innings, gave up seven hits, seven runs. Four of those were earned through 87 pitches in those three innings of play. Joined by head coach Andrew Donig and Always nice to start off the season with a couple of victories, but your offense, 20 runs over the first uh, two ball games, and that two, three, and four slot today really came up big for you. Yeah, you know, I thought I thought going into the year we'd be a little bit more offensive, and so far so good. You know, we've had a lot of hits and some good spots, scored some runs, so it's always nice to have run support as a pitcher. Good to see uh, Luke Beverlin out there healthy for you guys. I know he struggled with some injuries last year, but back out healthy and gave you a solid three and two-thirds, and Brett Korth, the senior, came and finished things off with three and a third innings for him. Yeah, you know, Bev pitched a little bit for us on the weekends last year, you know, come back from his arm stuff, you know, and got some good quality innings as a sophomore, but, you know, we're going to expect a lot out of him this year. So I, I would say if you went and asked him right now, he'd tell you he wasn't as sharp as he wanted to be, you know, didn't get his breaking ball over very many strikes. But good job coming in, getting some innings, getting some work in today so we can get ready to go the next time. Well, a busy week for you guys with a game on Thursday here against Springdale and then – you guys are at the Willard Tournament on, on Friday and Saturday. So you guys jump right into it. And uh, I know you're excited to play some games. I know these guys are excited to face some competition. What do you expect out of Springdale here on Thursday? Uh, you know, I know they, ble they beat uh, Glendale the other day, that opening day for Missouri, you know, I think 9-8. Uh, uh, so we know a little bit about them. Not too much, though, so it's kind of a little bit of an unknown. So we'll kind of show up and do the best we can with it and kind of go – you know, just go with it. So they'll, they'll be a good quality program. Of course, we're going to play Marquette. They're really good out of St. Louis. And then Columbia Rockbridge. I mean, they're as, they're as solid as you can get in the state of Missouri. So, you know, I, I schedule a lot of games early, and that's kind of how you have to do it. Sometimes it stretches you a little thin. But, you know, all it is is create some opportunity for some kids to play and, and, you know, see where we need to get better, see who can play, see who can do this, who can do that. So, you know, everybody hates practice. Yeah. Know, nobody loves having to practice. <laughs> we practice 15 days in a row, it seemed like. So, you know, it's good to come out here and get – get our games in, you know, get some wins early in the season because I know they don't come easy, and so they ain't going to get any easier the rest of the week, but that's how we build it for a reason. Well, how do you balance the pitching staff early on this year? I know you got guys you don't want to overuse them early on, so I'm sure that's probably one of the bigger challenges early on in the season. Yeah, you know, Lube and I talk about that all the time. Boy, he he's he, uh, he he lets me know what he thinks of our schedule at times <laughs> and, you know, about our pitchers and stuff like that, but that's just how he is, and I, and I understand the side of it, too, you know, being, being the old pitching coach, you know, but you know, you try to build these kids up, you know, early in the season. You know, we got Bev out, you know, at about 70 pitches. Fletch was the same deal last night. So 
So, you know, you build them up, they can come back on three days rest, you know, with the rules, and, you know, you get them another start, build them up a little bit more, and then, you know, hopefully by the time we hit conference, it's it's full boat ready to go, and they better be ready to go the whole thing. So, you know, the biggest thing is limit your pitches in an inning, get your up and downs, you know, for every inning we got, and just kind of build them up as a go. But, you know, it was really good for Brett to get out there and get some innings in. You know, he didn't pitch a ton last year a little bit, but same thing for Luke. He's, you know, good quality start against a really good team and it was good for him. So that's kind of what we're doing early with our pitchers, just trying to build them up. So, you know, come district and conference games, we'll be ready to go. Well, congrats on the win today. Go get them on Thursday here at home against Springdale. Thank you. Coach Andrew Donick, head coach of the Web City Cardinals. Web City now 2-0 and on the season, and they'll host Springdale here on Thursday at 1 o'clock for 1 o'clock first pitch at Barnesfield. In Web City, that's going to be a wrap from Barnesfield here tonight for studio producer Roberta Foster back at our KNEO studios doing a great job as always. This is Adam Winkler saying so long from a Barnesfield in Web City. Once again, your final score, Web City 11 and Branson 5. We now join regular programming in progress on KNEO. This has been a live production of KNEO Sports. This broadcast may not be reproduced or retransmitted without the express written consent of KNEO Sports Network. This has been a sporting outreach of KNEO Sports Network, reaching into communities to make a difference for eternity.